hey, it's done. We did some random sourcing while we were out the other day and found some pretty decent items. So hang on and you're going to see what we found. Hey, it's Don, the auction professor. Today we have a haul for you. We were actually out. My son had some appointments, some doctor's appointments for some tests. Didn't know if we were going to have time or even feel like doing anything afterwards, but we did. We did some sourcing while we were out. Stopped by a thrift store near the hospital and did find some items. Didn't bring the camera, unfortunately, because we weren't planning on doing this but you'll see what i got and you'll see the stickers and labels still on most of the items so we did go to three different places after the appointments i did get some paper items i'm going to show you some really neat items some vintage toys some records and rock and some other items in just a minute here now here's a pretty good item here i paid five dollars for it as you can see right there you can see the sticker from where it's at these always sell for us about $30, $35. This is a chess set from Lord of the Rings. The characters are plastic, but they look like metal. Uh, as you can see, orcs and the whole works. These always sell for us. I've had probably a dozen or more of these sets. Never pay more than, say, five, ten bucks for them at the most. Depends on how much you want to make. The boards inside here, as are the instruction sheet on the bottom. So for five bucks, I'm very happy with this one here. Let's pull out the next item here. Now, the next item here is an early play school Richard Scary set. Now, Richard Scary was a children's book character back in the day. I remember him when I was a kid. Now, I also paid $5 for it. As you can see, the sticker is still on there. It has characters and pieces in here also. Wooden sets. It builds buildings. Very interesting set. I vaguely remember some of these, as I said, when I was a child. It has the characters other than the cow that's pictured on the box. I have some extra figures that came with this box as well. Now this set here with everything you see, I'll probably get about 50 bucks back, make a quick 40 bucks profit, five bucks for what I paid for it, five bucks in fees, and I'll be happy with that. Now I didn't just get the one, I got a couple of these. Let me show you the other one. Now this is Huckle Cat's Family Cottage. This is another one of the sets, and as you can see, it makes a nice little world. There's, I think, eight or nine of these different sets. They did very, very well. They were construction toys. They helped kids build up buildings and things, plastic roofs and vehicles. As you can see, I've got the motorcycle and other characters. I have all the characters it shows in the box in here as well. They're very well collected if they have the box. The key to these is that they have to have the box to be worth a bunch of money. Otherwise, they're just parts. Whenever a collector collects something, they usually want it with the box. An example, anyway, I should say. Half the value is in the box on some stuff like this. So that's a pretty good investment. Another 40 bucks. So basically on those three items there, the two Richard Scary and the Lord of the Rings chess set, I should profit close to 110 bucks just on that $15 investment. Again, that's profit. That's after I'm taking out fees as well. Now some other things I got, and I'm going to have to cover up the names. These were free. There's a store I go to that always gives away free magazines. Now you're limited, I think, to 10 free ones. After that, they ask for a donation. This is Fly Tire. These go very well. I can average about eight to 10 bucks a magazine out of these. And there's what, three, six, there's seven of these worth that. So seven times eight or seven times 10, depending on the day of the week, almost 70 bucks possibly back on these. An easy 50 all day long though. So Fly Tire. You just got to look up the title of the magazines. There's some you should always know. I've run into these on three or four other occasions, so I knew the name instantly and grabbed those right off the bat. So free, nothing into these. And this is from an establishment, a church-oriented thrift store. So very good. They do the same thing when they run the church sales on those items too. Now I did get a few records. I have had a few versions of this one, including this same one. 
Now, this is the German pressing of this classic. This is the most common version of this from another country that you will find. The German versions were imported. U.S. soldiers brought these back as well that were stationed over there. I've had three or four of this one here. It's in mint condition. It's the egg one here, as you can see. It has an egg on it. Very excellent condition record here. This one's worth about, say, 25 to 30 bucks in this condition. It's the foreign one. It's a gatefold. It's a Neems, N-E-M-S. Nice example here. Would not pass up one of these. I paid a dollar a piece for the LPs. I got a few 45s as well for 50 cents to a dollar also. This is from that same collection again. I've had three or four of these in my time that I bought in big lots. This is the German pressing. It's a laminated cover, different cardboard stock. The disc itself has the typical German uh, let's see if you can see it, which is that right there. That little triangle usually dictates that it's an overseas copy. First and easiest way to always tell. It's usually in the dead wax. It will say printed or pressed in Germany on some of these as well. And this one does say Germany right up in the dead wax, right up here in the black dead wax area. So good one here. It's worth about 20, 25 bucks as well. Locally, I could probably sell that in the same price range. Now here's one I've had. I don't know, three or four dozen of these that I usually get some decent money. It has the inner liners and the whole works, as well as the lyric sheet on this. It's the original gatefold. It has the right number. Excellent condition for this copy. It's the Epic Original. About $37.50 is what I'll put on it. I'll probably get an easy $20, bucks, 25 bucks really quick on it if I want to blow it out that way. So, again, a dollar a piece. Now, here's another one I've had three or four of in the last year or two. The Black Hole soundtrack. I love soundtracks. I collect a few of them from the war movies from the 50s and 60s. The Great Escape is a very good example of that. A Bridge Too Far, Force 10 from Navarone, that style of movie. Kelly's Heroes is a, is a classic in my book. You just can't go wrong with something like that. And there's some nice graphics on these. These always sell for the graphics more so than anything else, in my opinion. Most people aren't going to play this, but it sure as heck would look good sitting on a wall. Most people think these are just junkers for the most part. For a dollar, I'll easily get 20, 25 bucks back on that one also. So really good one there. Now the next one here is the U.S. pressing. You should know what this is. This is Animals by Pink Floyd. Every one of these that I have gotten, I've gotten at least 25 bucks for, if it's the gatefold version as you see here. Excellent condition record. Pigs on a Wing is on this one if you didn't know it. Excellent, excellent condition record here. Again, another dollar. I look through maybe four or 500 records to get these few that I have right here. So if that gives you a ratio on time, maybe that'll help you. I look through records extremely quickly. Usually I just look at the edge of the disc and I can look through hundreds of these in just a little bit of time. So I always take the time to do that. Another good dollar investment there. Now let's show you a few other things. We went to several, including a resale shop. So they had different things. I did pick up some paper items. This stack right here was a dollar. And this postcard, very patriotic postcard, as you can see. And this card is embossed, meaning the image is raised off the face of the card. It's really high. It's, it's a large, deep relief on this one. An excellent card. Being patriotic from about World War I, probably put 1850 on it. I should take home 12 to say 15 bucks, I would imagine, on this card here. It has a maker on it, so I will be able to look this one up also. It may have some value just because of the maker. Early Christmas cards, excellent style, excellent condition on these. Um, all used, but again, there are no issues with them. Graphic-wise, very interesting. And this one's really nice as well. This one's dated 1921. Looks like it's on parchment. Again, these Christmas cards are either in a lot or selling them separately. I should get 15 or 20 bucks on these and close to that on the postcard. So another dollar investment, almost 30 bucks back on return. So you just can't go wrong on that. Now I pick up local. Now this is a Loma. This one's shown up here quite a few times. I think this is my third or fourth one in the last five years on this one. This one, maybe I'll be lucky to get one every year or two. This is my turn this time. 95 bucks is what I should take home on this one here. Excellent condition. And this is Cornell Gunter and the Ermines. It's a scarce classic soul. Again, $95. Original first press record there. I paid 50 cents for that one. I got some Elvis for a dollar a piece. This one should get me $24.50. It's rip it up. 
I've got Alvis's first EP here, Cardboard Sleeve Rock, 95 bucks I should take home on this one. Again, another dollar. I love the movie soundtracks, the movies, sci-fis from when I grew up, the 80s. Tron, I've had probably a dozen of these in the last year. These show up in big lots. So usually when I find one, I find another one too. So that one again, 10 bucks on this one, not super, super big. But again, I only paid a dollar. I should easily get eight bucks profit. This is Ewok Adventures. This one's a fairly scarce one. I should walk home with 35 bucks again, another dollar. And I've had probably a half a dozen of these just in the last six months. About one a month of these I run into. It's Masters of the Universe. It has a record in all of these. And the record's in excellent condition. This one I'll get about $18 or so back on. Again, a dollar a piece on all of those. And I found this one. This is, I think, the second one of these I've ever found. This is a Disney record. Now let me pull it out so you can see. There's a whole line of these records. Some of these can go for hundreds of dollars, believe it or not. This is the story of the littlest outlaw. I have not seen one in this nice condition. The other one I had had a terrible cover, missing a corner and other issues with it too. Disc is excellent. I haven't looked this one up yet, but I'm going to guess I'll get at least 50 bucks for this one. Again, another dollar on that there. So not a huge investment on my behalf. I think we've got about 30 bucks in everything we bought there, including a few items that we're keeping for ourselves also. Here's another item I got at another little tiny secondhand church run store. This is a beer stein from the 40s. At $4, you can see they mark Germany. It has some markings in there as an embossed Gers, G-E-R-Z, on the bottom of this. This dates to about World War II. I paid 4 bucks for it. I should get about 40 bucks back easy on it. Very well made. It's like a stoneware or something, and it represents an uh, earlier German soldier from what I understand. It's not tied to anything specifically military, though. It's just a nice little one here with the lid, and it's well marked. So, really good one. I do buy steins. I do buy this type of material only if I'm going to sell it quickly. That's the key to this. I'll lower the price sometimes just to get a quicker return on my investment and get it out of here. I don't like ceramics or breakables sitting around very long. Bigger chance, more chance on it getting damaged before I sell it. Now, since we're looking at cups and all, here's an Anchor Hawking Milk Glass Cup. And it has an A under an H embossed on the bottom of these. That's Anchor Hawking's logo. It's a clown circus theme on this. I paid $1.55. It's not super pricey. I'll get 15 or 20 bucks. It'll set for a little while. No big deal. This is pretty small. And this type of item I can fit in on a little tiny drawer. The big steins I can't do that with. So as long as it'll fit in one of my little bins with the drawers, I don't mind stuff sitting around. It's a pretty good return on my investment for that. So, And the last things are just something really cheap. I paid a quarter for three of these. These are Christmas oriented. Now let me show you what these are. Brand spanking new, never been touched, has all the stickers that it should have. This is like a take along little thermos. These average like 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. None of this version are up. They're all Christmas oriented as you can see quarter a piece i'm assuming they thought they were used but i've looked online this is the way they were sold there's none of this example up here christmas wise as well i should put 14 or 15 bucks on these and i'll probably sell them fairly well in my opinion these are made to look like a soda can so it's really interesting ones here these do sell very well from what i see again a quarter a piece i can't go wrong i'll probably blow them out put them up for 14.50 and take 9.99 or 10 bucks on them and just get rid of them really quickly before the end of the season so anyway that's what i have for you just a quick touch on that again about 30 bucks total in everything we bought including some items that we're keeping and a few items that i'm not showing you you saw the stickers on them. That's a pretty good return. The toys that are boxed always do very well for us. Now, most thrift stores around us aren't that good, but there are a few that I know that we will always hit and do find things just like this. We went to three stores, and that's what we got basically for about an hour and 25, hour and 30 minutes of our time. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.